Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Ayush and from today we are going to start out the docker tutorial series. So this is the, our first video in which we basically talk about the introduction to docker. Okay. So without wasting time, let's start the video actually. So for this tutorial, uh, we are just going to learn about some theory concept because if you will learn theory then and only then you can implement uh, that practically okay so there is also important to learn about the docker and all this okay so you should learn the first concept what docker is so here you can see I have mentioned some points for you guys like the basic definition which everyone knows and maybe everyone is aware of it like docker is an app platform for developing shipping and running application what does this uh, line or what does this definition actually mean so it's a very simple uh, you will just think docker as just uh, one kind of platform or it is a platform which if which we use or which software developers use to develop the application to ship that application to some other place and then there run that application so it simply means the you will develop one project in the one environment and then you will just uh, uh, send that project or that environment to the other person or to the other computer and then there that project will run okay so if you find this definition a little bit difficult or not understandable so you can also uh, see this second point like docker is a platform which packages an application and all its dependencies together in the form of container so it this line is just similar to the above it simply means the whatever we will create an application so in which what will happen all the dependencies and all the uh, whatever the required software whatever the required libraries are there they all will be packaged Act in one single container and that can container will be uh, shipped or will be sent to the other person okay we will see some of the things like uh, how everything uh, goes on and how the actually the docker works so we are we will going to learn with that example okay and next point if you will see like uh, developers can create a container image that includes all necessary components of the applications as a core runtime libraries just just uh, it's same as the above line okay so you can read and here also the this one is important point like this image can then be distributed to other developers test or deployed on different server or cloud platform okay so the basic uh, theory or basic concept about docker is just uh, like there is one line in the software industry like uh, this code is working on my machine but it's not working on your machine okay so it's basically uh, just uh, like uh, to solve this problem docker came okay so let's start with the example so here I have uh, just uh, you can see the heading like what problem docker solves so to understand this one I will just uh, create one example for you guys okay so that you can understand it easily let me just do it okay fine perfect so here you will suppose this one is one computer okay I just write uh, here uh, computer one okay and suppose you are building uh, or you are creating some python based project okay so you are creating project in with name one project one and the tool which you are using or the software which you are using is just python okay suppose here the version of python is 2.7 okay and the scenario is like that uh, this project is created by your friend suppose this project is created by your friend and your friend sends you this project okay so now in your PC so this one is computer 2 okay so in computer 2 what you do you again just uh, simply copy this project so the name will be same project one 
and suppose here you are using another version of Python that is Python 3.7 just suppose it so in this situation what will happen the first like the project which is created is based on the 2.7 so whatever will be the feature of 2.7 that will not be there in 3.7 some some features have changed okay so in this case your project will not work so it basically in this case we will use the the concept or the platform docker okay i hope you got it why this project will not work this project will not work because the here the this project is dependent on 2.7 version but uh, now you are going to run this project on 3.7 version so it is uh, totally different okay so that's why this project will not work on this machine that is computer 2 so to solve this problem docker came into role so what docker can do so docker will not uh, docker will just simply just create one container in uh, in that computer one so in container what we can do we can just uh, install python 2.7 okay and uh, we can create the project one okay and what we will do we will we can just uh, send this project okay we can just send this project to this one to computer 2 we can send it using the uh, container or image this thing we will cover in our further videos about the docker like important concept okay so this one is container which is shared with the computer too so in this what is happening you can say this project is uh, created on 2.7 in this container and here also it will run in this on the same version of python that is python 2.7 okay so in this way the docker solves the problem of the statement like this one like it's a very famous statement in the software industry like uh, my code runs on my machine but it's not running in your machine okay so this is the uh, like most uh, like important or famous statement in the software industry and this problem is being solved by the docker nowadays okay so that's it for today's guys and i hope you liked the introduction to docker video and in the further video in the next video i will cover the docker architecture so that's it for today's i hope you liked it thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video thank you so much